Hey, what's going on guys? It's Panda here, back for some more Katawa Shoujo. I'm sure you could already figure that out by the big title that says Katawa Shoujo. I'm sure you guys aren't that idiotic, but nevertheless, I say it anyway just for effect. Um, wow, that was really sarcastic and mean. Good way to start the video, Panda. Good way to start the video. Um, but no. I feel refreshed rejuvenated, re... incarnated? Okay, maybe not the last one. Uh, another word that begins with re? I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just had a Lipton iced tea, and you know what? If you haven't had a Lipton iced tea before, then there's something seriously wrong with you, and you need to get out there and have a Lipton iced tea, because they are amazing. And you would think, you know, Tea. Tea equals good. Therefore, iced tea clearly must equal better, or amazing, or great, or fantastic. For you, that is. You know, no, it has to be healthy, because it's tea. No. No, not at all. Not at all. There is an insurmountable amount of sugar in that drink. Not even kidding. There's more than... more sugar in that than there is in energy drinks and sodas, it's it's ridiculous. I guess they have to add, you know, it's like they always say, anything that tastes nice must be filled with shit. You know, there's nothing that tastes good out there that is actually healthy for you. In some way, shape or form. Okay, what are we, I, I've fully forgotten what's happening here. Oh, that's right, we had the stock photo in the uh, family frame there. Aside from that, it's been a very long time since I previously recorded some Katawa Shoujo. Okay, maybe it's only been about two days, but there was dust on top of my mic. And you know what that means? That does not mean that it's been a very long time since I've recorded Katawa Shoujo. That means that my room is really fucking dusty and I need to clean it, but I'm far too lazy for that sort of thing, so... Let's just get on with it. Despite having only been here for two days, it feels like it's been much longer. I wake up feeling more tired than refreshed. Maybe because I've been moving around almost constantly since I got here. Whatever the reason, it's making me get up unusually late each day. I like sleeping in, but it could have been inconvenient if it ends up becoming a habit. I can hear a deep male voice shouting loudly in the background. <coughs> that wasn't good for my throat. It must be Shizun's dad. Or maybe with the size of this place, it's creditors. More likely the former, since the yelling doesn't seem angry, just loud. Mm. I need some more of my iced tea. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? What do you need that for, buddy? God damn, do you think I'm gonna... Jesus. Alright, well... At least you're extremely intimidating and want me to run the hell away. Because Jesus Christ, I don't believe you need a katana or whatever the hell that is. Fuck. Shizun, Misha and Hideaki are sitting in the living room, having a one-sided conversation with a giant bear man who alternates between shoveling away food from a plate part balanced on his leg and twirling a sword. Jesus Christ. What Shizun and Hideaki are like, I'd expected their dad to be a very reserved, clean cut, possibly andro androgynous person, so I'm pretty surprised. I'm surprised for a while until he starts talking to me. Hello! You must be Shizun's other friend! Did you have a good night's rest? The guest rooms are a bit spare. If there's anything you need, feel free to tell me. But, yeah, there was a bit of an uh, English tone to that, but hey, you know? English in a uh, Japanese world? Ah, it's fine. Thanks, you must be Shizun's father. It's nice to meet you. I'm Shizun's classmate and girlfriend. Boyfriend? Boyfriend? Fuck. Kasao Nakai, I'm still not totally with it today. Clearly. The pleasure is mine. I wanted to meet you after hearing that I would have a second guest in my house. Unexpected. You hear something like that and obviously you want to see that what that person is like. Would you like my business card? Certainly! Right, that's, that's a pretty boring business card. It's got your face and it's got some... 
writing, email address, uh, hang on, I can sort this shit out, name obviously, I'm going to say phone number, no, no, I'm going to say fax, phone number, business number, phone number, then email. He holds up a case full of them for a second, and I can see that his name is Jigoro. Jigoro. Jigoro? And that his office hours are from 8 to 6. Well, I, I seriously can't see any of that from here. They also say that he's a consultant. What a prepared guy. Carrying his hard... His... His hard case. His card case around in his own home. We are just sitting down to a slightly late lunch. You're just in time to join us. Good. Please, take a place to sit down and I'll bring you a plate. I hope you don't mind eating bear liver. What? Bear liver? Jesus, are you like, like the alternate to bear grills? The fuck? For a drink, are we going to drink your own piss? God damn. Bear liver? Are you kidding? I thought the bear liver was toxic. Either way, the thought of eating a bear liver doesn't appeal to me other than for the ability to tell people I've eaten bear liver. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try, but Shizu's dad merely laughs. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> Although, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to cook up some bear livers for you kids. They will make you strong, like me, and have a big sword and intimidate people. We're actually having omelettes. I'll make you one right now. Is that unusual for you? Have you not much for lunch? Mm, very unusual, but I wasn't talking to you, he was talking to me. No, not at all. Jigoro vanishes to where the kitchen must be. I'm surprised that despite living in this in this place, he has to cook my lunch. Maybe he only cooks because he likes to. He doesn't really look like the kind of guy that likes to cook. He likes he kinda looks like the guy that would rather chop a person's head off or brutally beat someone until their eyeballs have popped out and then cut off their ball sack or, you know, normal stuff for a guy that walks around his own home with a katana. My steaming plate of food is done in a very short time. It smells really good. Omelets don't really take that long to cook and they are amazing. Are you in the student council like Shizun? Is the student council that busy that Shizun has to drag her friends along with her everywhere she goes? Ha ha ha! Sometimes a vacation is just a vacation. You're right about the student council part. I think we're just here for fun, though. I think. Is, I see. Is that right? When I was young, our student councils had so much work that I don't think we could have afforded going on vacation. It must be nice having so much free time. Should give you plenty of time to think about your future. I do not like the direction this discussion is taking. And start thinking about how to avoid it. Maybe just shovel food down your mouth so, so, so you can say, Oh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, I've got food in my mouth. I can't eat and talk. Maybe. Have you thought about that? About what you want to do? No, I haven't given it much thought recently. What do you do if you don't mind me asking? It must be something pretty cool if you can get a house like this. Yes, I'm a contract killer! Why do you want to know that? Children aren't interested in business. What business of yours is my business? Suspicious. Are you some kind of tax man, boy? Boy? Are you? I guess he really does not like being asked questions. It's because he's a contract killer. What do you expect? They have to sort of stay in the shadows all the time. Hachan isn't a tax collector's boy, I think. Hachan, what do your parents do? You never told us. You be quiet. Don't interrupt me. I hate being interrupted. Rude. I might cut your head off with this katana if you keep doing that. Ah. Uh, Zone doesn't look too happy with this turn of events. Even with Mishra unable to sign to, to her what's going on. She can read the mood easily. Her glare becomes more smouldering as Chigoro continues to read. One more thing. My fishing equipment. I came home and it was in just a big pile in the corner. Rods just stacked haphazardly on top of the tackle. You know, I have to agree with you here, Chigoro. That's, that's pretty unpleasant. I'm not at all happy with that either. 
you know, it's very expensive equipment, fishing rods and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't want to just leave them in the pile, pile of shit just in the corner somewhere. Uh, first of all, you're going to get the lines tangled. And secondly, you could possibly break one of those rods just leaving them like that. I, I agree with you. That, oh, oh, sorry. that was me. I can't remember if it actually was him. If it were, wasn't... I appreciate that he's willing to take one for the team. It doesn't matter because Jagoro ignores him without skipping a beat. Well, anyway, I'm glad that my fishing equipment could provide so much entertainment for my daughter's friends. I did not even tell you... Tell me you were going to be using them. Those are expensive, custom-made poles, not for... Dilettants? Dilettants? Dilantes? Whatever. I suddenly become aware of the eggshell fragments in my omelette. Is he just a bad cook? Well, that's not very nice considering he cooked you food. Maybe you should just pick them out and just not rant about them. Does he eat them for the calcium? Were they purposely added there to give me more for discomfort? <laughs> Though confused, I'm not as unnerved as I think I normally would be. Then again, my life has been pretty strange lately, and I keep running into all sorts of different people. Nothing surprises me anymore. Really, this guy is kind of terrifying me. Didn't even properly clean them off, do you? Terrible. Do you even know how to fish? Unlikely. There are not enough pools here for all of you. How does that work? Did you all share? One person baits the hook and another cast? Two people to reel? Incompetent. Certainly sounds like Shazoon's dad. Well, six of us went, so we couldn't do it all at the same time. First it was just me, Akira, Hideaki, and Mission. Stop talking. That sounds unspeakably dirty. I have had enough of your filth. How vulgar. Make sure that your statements are not so embarrassingly carelessly worded next time. Whoa. What? What? You are so disrespectful. Amazing. Are all delinquent types like this? Even the way you dress shows fi flippant disregard for authority. Sweater vest, disgraceful. Fuck you, asshole. I could take you on any day, bitch. Just put down that sword. Delinquent? I'm on the student council. I'm hurt by this comment on my sweater vest. It's, uh, bro, it is kind of gay. Especially when it's coming from a guy in such a tacky shirt. That's true, too. It's one of those tacky Hawaiian shirts that 40 plus year olds wear all the time. Just to embarrass their kids, such as my dad and mum. I guess I can't really say anything though. He has a sword, I might, and he might also kill bears. Yeah. Mosha loudly puts a, her plate down on the table. That was delicious. Well, thank you, Mosha. Quite honestly. Like, genuinely thank you. That, that's a great distraction. Shachan and I are done now. Hachan, you are too, right? We should get going. What a simple yet effective exit strategy. Yes, thank you, Misha. Thank you. I barely have the time to put down my plate before they pull me up and out of there, and finally outside. Unbelievable! It's like I'm really watching an interrogation. This is not a cop show. Guests definitely have responsibilities, but hasn't he ever heard of being a gracious host? Really? Misha attempts to sloppily mimic, mimic Shazoon's angry chopping gestures as best as she can. She has the expression down too, but the tone of her voice is the same as, as, but, 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 same as ever, thus lacking the anger necessary to bring it all together. Oh, I still thought it was pretty angry. Wahahaha! Don't take it too hard, Hachan. Shachan's dad does this to everyone. I think it's like a joke. Well, really? That was the most aggressive joke possible. Yeah, I agree. Fuck. I'm also not at all convinced that it was a joke, considering this hastily staged retreat, but this isn't a good moment to discuss how Shizun's father might be a jerk. <laughs> Douchebag, asshole, wanker, cockface. And plenty of more names. But Chen, let's go shopping! Oh, okay. Ladies, you know, I'd love to and all, but I'm a guy. I don't do shopping. Like, the ladies do shopping. You guys are welcome to go and, um, Shit. I might just stay at home with your dad and have an all-out ball to the death. Yeah, 
we'll make the town gate heavy. It'll be fun. We can see the sights and go to an amusement park. Maybe eat a, at a good restaurant. We just had lunch. Even though I didn't eat lunch. It's okay. In that case, we just have to make sure that today is so busy that by the time we're done, it will be time for dinner. Oh wow. Okay. It works out perfectly. Come on, Hachan. They immediately flank me and hook my arms with their fingers. Shizun taking one arm and Risha taking the other. At first, we almost trip over each other. Shizun walks at a very brisk pace, and Misha has an unusually bouncy way of moving around. We get the hang of it soon enough, and I notice we're going to town by cutting through the park. It doesn't seem efficient. It, wait, what? It doesn't seem efficient, so I'm guessing this is the scenic route. Oh, right. Walking this way hinders how we can communicate with each other significantly. I can't talk to Shizun at all. Shizun and Misha are down to one-handed gestures only. It feels nice, though. I don't mind it, so I don't mind it too much. When I make a crack about it to Misha, she responds with mild confusion. Really, Chen? Hmm. If you really want Shizun's attention, you can tell me, then I can tap her on the shoulder for you. If you just let me go, and I'll do it myself. How are you going to tap her on the shoulder from over there? Like this. Suddenly stops in her tracks roughly and tries to reach behind her back and across my shoulders to get Shizun's attention. She succeeds, but only because when Misha stopped, I had to as well or we'd fall all, all, all over. Obviously Shizun had to jerk to a halt too. The sight makes Misha let out one of her characteristic laughs, characteristic laughs, which shakes us around more, and Shizun starts wailing her free hand to get her to stop, which only causes her to laugh harder. It is pretty funny to watch her getting so flustered, and I start laughing too. <laughs> oh wow, that was very quick. Seems like a weird place to have a, you know, that kind of... Oh wow, really? That was our day? That was, that was a very interesting day. We saw a lot of stuff in town, and you know, that, that place we went to dinner was nice. Mm. Um... Oh, those, oh, you remember that ride at the amusement park we went to? Man, that was so cool. Oh, I wish we could go back and do that again. Far out. Oof. Oh, and it was really funny when Misha spewed all over the place on the roller coaster. Oh, man. Oh, I'm never going to forget that. I've been neglecting my sign language studies, so I should probably spend some time studying up on it. Although, I think I've learned a lot just by osmosis. I'm very proud of that, and we'll have to be careful not to brag about it. Most of the books I brought with me aren't manuals on learning sign language, but studies about different signing dialects. I know Shizun has some secret signals with Misha that only t the two of them know the meaning of. After seeing a couple of them, this book caught my eye at the school library. Maybe I should incorporate some examples into my own signing to mess with them, because I'm pretty sure that they have started using their code words more when I started learning sign language, that will teach them. After a quick break for a shower, I resume practicing my signing in the guest room mirror. Yesterday I crashed my fingers against each other pretty hard. It's still... wait, what? It still smarts, and I don't want to re... Uh, it still smarts? And I don't want a repeat of that to happen again. I hear knocking on the door behind me and turn to find Hideaki standing inside the doorway, staring at me. How polite of him to knock, but usually you don't open the door first. Oh, I fucking hate people that do that. Honestly, what's the point of knocking on the door and then just instantly coming in without any, you know, can I come in? Or any response from the person. What are you doing? I'm practicing sign language. How long have you been standing there? I did not see anything. That isn't the point. I don't even know what he means by that. It's not like I was doing something that I would be ashamed to have people see me doing. Bro, you were masturbating, weren't you? Oh, now Hideaki knows he's going to tell Shizun, Misha. Shizun's going to tell her dad. Jigoro's going to fuck you up with his sword and all ends badly. Although, sign, lang sign language must look strange to most people. I'm only used to it from being around Shizun and Misha so much. I'm brushing up on my sign language and reading about it too. Stuff like the history of it, even though they cover it in sign language class. Your school teaches sign language as a class? 
Yeah, one of the first things they brought up was that it's not very common to do that. I guess they are very international or something. It looks fun. Well, I wouldn't call it fun. If you do not enjoy this, it seems like a lot of work to go through just to talk to a sister. Why does everyone keep saying that? Hideaki's mouth twitches like he was about to laugh, but he restrains himself. Come to think of it, he hasn't laughed once since I've met him. I could take it as a compliment that he doesn't laugh at me, but I'm curious to see. Laugh. Why? It was the fastest and most direct way I could think of towards accomplishing my goal. Can you teach me sign language? He says it plainly, but his body language is nervous, showing me that he clearly needs to put some effort in to ask. I guess Hideaki likes his sister after all. I'd think Mishra is a lot more approachable though, so I wonder why he didn't ask her. Secretly, I'm shouting, YES! YES! Inside. I had thought he wanted to learn sign language and even brought it up, but he hadn't en ended, evaded the subject skillfully. It turns out I was right after all. I don't really know why this makes me so pleased. Um, no. No. No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. No. No, I'm so. Okay, fine. All right, I'll do it. But now that I think about it, I'm not a sign language teacher. I don't even know where to start. In class, I'd be learning stuff gradually over a week. Does Hideaki expect me to teach him any anything usable in a one-day crash course? Maybe you should ask him. My teacher spent a couple of days just giving a history of sign language. I decided to start off with that, to buy some time while I figure out how I can segue in it into the hard stuff. Five minutes in, Hideaki raises his hand. Yes, student? I don't understand what you are doing. Uh, well, you can't just jump into teaching, you know. You have to ease into it. It's like when you go swimming. You don't just jump in the lake in some mo like in some movie. I do not swim. <laughs> oh my god. It's like scientists manage to create a process to suck out all the hyperactive, hyperactive, infuriating and childish qualities of a small child and then implant them into the dad, <laughs> creating a raging jerk dad, leaving behind Hariaki. I began to feel claustrophobic, despite the fact that the guest room is three times bigger than my dorm room and there's just two of us in here. It's all in my head. I know it. And I don't care. I still use it as an excuse to move the lesson outside. Yeah, you can't feel claustrophobic now. It's a lot easier to concentrate out here. Even the precious few seconds it took to relocate managed to allow me to sort through my thoughts. There were no questions during this time. Hideaki can't seem to talk and walk at the same time. Eventually, however, I start to realise that if I'm going to teach him anything, I have to keep the lesson constantly moving. The second there's an opening for it, he'll ask a question, which will lead me to more questions. Then there's no end to it. 